Now let's talk about negative exponents. What is x to the negative 2? How would you simplify that? How can you make the negative exponent positive? Typically, whenever you want to simplify the expression, you want to get rid of all negative exponents. You want to make sure all exponents are positive. All you need to do is change the position of x. If it's on the top, move it to the bottom. As you change the position, the sign is going to change. It's going to change from negative 2 to positive 2. So let's say if we have 1 over x to the minus 3. If we move x from the bottom to the top, the sign is going to change. Instead of being negative 3, it's going to be positive 3. So let's say if we have 3 over 4 raised to the negative 2. If we simply flip the fraction, if we move the 3 to the bottom, the 4 to the top, the exponent will change sign. It's going to be positive 2. And now we can square each number. 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, that's 16. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. So the answer is 16 over 9. So likewise, let's say if we have x cubed raised to the negative 4. First, we can multiply 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. And then we can make the negative exponent positive by moving x to the bottom. So it's 1 over x to the positive 12. And that's just a basic introduction of negative exponents. Now let's work on some more examples dealing with negative exponents. Try these problems. Multiply x cubed with x to the negative 8. Also try this one, 4x to the negative 5 raised to the second power, y to the fifth divided by y to the negative 3. And let's start with that. So in the first one, we need to add the exponent since we're multiplying the basis. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. Now to get rid of the negative exponent, let's move x to the bottom. So this is 1 over x to the positive 5. Now in the next example, let's begin by distributing the exponent. 2 times 1 is 2, so we have 4 squared. And 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 4 squared is 16. And to make the negative 10 positive 10, we need to move the x to the bottom of the fraction. So it's 16 divided by x to the 10th power. So that's the answer to the second problem. Now for the third one, when dividing by a common base, you need to subtract the exponents. So start with the top number, 5 minus the bottom one, negative 3. 5 minus negative 3 is the same as 5 plus 3. So the answer is y to the 8th power. Now going back to this example, what you could do is you can take this variable and move it to the top. If you do that, it's going to be y to the 5th times y to the positive 3. And then you can add 5 plus 3 is 8, which will give you the same answer. Try these. x to the negative 8 divided by x to the negative 11. Also, 5 minus 2 times x to the negative 3, y to the 4th raised to the 0 power. And 3a to the negative 4 divided by b raised to the negative 6 and c raised to the 3rd power. So pause the video and try these examples. So for the first one, since we're dividing, let's subtract the exponents, negative 8 and negative 11. So this is going to be, starting with the top one, negative 8 minus negative 11, which is the same as negative 8 plus 11. And negative 8 plus 11 is positive 3. So that's the answer to the first one. Now, just like before, you can take this and move it to the top. And then, so it's going to become x to the negative 8 times x to the 11 which is also x to the third. Now for the next example, anything raised to the zero power is one. So only that portion becomes a one. So this is five minus two times one, which is five minus two, and that whole thing is equal to three. Now for the next example, we don't have any common base. So there's nothing to add or subtract. All we need to do is get rid of the negative exponents. Now a has a negative exponent. So if we move a to the bottom, the negative 4 will change to a positive 4. b has a negative exponent. If we move it to the top, negative 6 will now become positive 6. c is already positive, so we're going to keep it in the same position. So this is the answer for the third one. Let's try another example. 3x to the negative 2 times y cubed 
raised to the second power multiplied by 4 x to the fifth power y to the negative 6 raised to the third power. Go ahead and simplify this expression. So first, let's distribute the exponents. So let's multiply 1 by 2, negative 2 by 2, and 3 by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, 3 times 2 is 6. And now let's do the same for the other one. Let's distribute the 3 to every exponent inside the parentheses. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 3 is 15, negative 6 times 3, negative 18. So now, let's simplify. 3 squared is 9, and 4 to the third is 16. No, it's not. That's 64. Now, let's multiply x to the negative fourth times x to the 15th. So what is that equal to? Well, we need to add the exponents. Negative 4 plus 15 is positive 11. And now let's combine these two. Positive 6 plus negative 18, or 6 minus 18, that's negative 12. So now let's multiply 9 times 64. 9 times 64 is 576. Now the only thing we need to change is the negative 12. So we have to move the y variable to the bottom so that it's going to become positive 12. And so this is the answer. Now let's work on some examples that involve division. Try this one. So what's the first thing that we should do? We can't divide 45 and 27 directly, but notice that both numbers are divisible by 9. So you should divide both numbers by 9. 45 divided by 9 is 5. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So it's 5 over 3. Now let's focus on the exponents. 4 minus negative 7 is the same as 4 plus 7, which is 11. So we're going to have x to the 11 on top. Next, we have negative 6 minus 5. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. It's negative 11 initially on top. So after you divide, always put the variable on top. Now, if you have a negative exponent, you can move it to the bottom. So the final answer is 5x to the 11th divided by 3 y to the 11th. And so this is it. Let's try this one. 18a to the 3rd, b to the negative 4th, c to the negative 6th, divided by 30a to the 7th, b to the 5th, c to the negative 9th. So go ahead and reduce it. 18 and 30 are divisible by 6. So let's start with that. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 30 divided by 6 is 5. And now let's divide. a to the 3rd divided by a to the 7th. So 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Initially, it's going to be on top. And then negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So we're going to have b to the negative 9. And negative 6 minus 9, let's write that. Negative 6 minus negative 9 is negative 6 plus 9, which is positive 3. So we have c to the positive 3. So there's only two negative exponents on top, a and b. So we're going to have to bring a and b to the bottom. So the final answer is 3, c to the 3rd, over 5, a to the 4th, b to the 9th. Now let's understand it. Let's focus on the b part. b to the 4 over b to the 5th. Why is that 1 over b to the 9th? Another way you can see this is you can move the b to the bottom. It will be b to the positive 4th. 4 plus 5 is 9, so you get that. For the other example, 
a cubed over a to the seventh is one over a to the fourth. You can see it this way. A cubed is basically three a's multiplied to each other. And a to the seventh, you have seven a's. So you can cancel three of them, which leaves four behind on the bottom. And so you get one over a to the fourth. Now, here's the last example in this video. 63 x to the negative 3 y to the 4th z to the minus 5 divided by 35 x to the 8th y to the negative 7 z to the negative 4th all raised to the second power. So we can distribute the 2 first or we could divide and then distribute the exponent later. You'll get the same answer. But let's work on the inside first. 36 and, I mean, excuse me, 35 and 63 are both divisible by 7. 63 divided by 7 is 9. 35 divided by 7 is 5. So it's 9 over 5. Now, let's divide x to the negative 3 over x to the 8th. So negative 3 minus 8. Negative 3 minus 8 is equal to negative 11. So we have x to the negative 11 on top. And then 4 minus negative 7 is basically 4 plus 7. That's positive 11. So we have y to the 11 power. Negative 5 minus negative 4, which is negative 5 plus 4. That's negative 1. So we have z to the negative 1. Now let's get rid of the negative exponents. So we can keep the 9 on top and the y on top. We need to bring down x and z so that those exponents will become positive. So it's going to be 5x to the 11 times z to the first power, or simply z. Now we still have to deal with the square. 9 squared is 81. That's 9 times 9. 11 times 2 is 22. 5 squared is 25, and 11 times 2 is also 22, 1 times 2 is 2, and so this is the answer.